What's up guys, the Suicide Fox coming at you with another Escapist 2 Day 1 Escape Speedrun. We are on Rattlesnake Springs and we're going to be doing a perimeter breakout today. Now for this escape, all you're going to need to do is get a sturdy shovel and we're going to we're gonna cheat just a little bit by getting a light shovel out of a specific desk so that way we don't have to go around and find every little piece of item that we need to craft the item. So all we're going to need is to find one duct tape and one sheet of metal and uh, I took the spurs there because they're a pretty good fighting weapon. You can swing them pretty fast and it does kind of boost up your your damage a little bit and we're going to need that in order to knock out a guard a little bit faster. So I'm just going around to all these desks. You do have enough time to check about three, maybe four rooms before you have to go to roll call. Right there I take the soda because we're going to need that later so we can build our intelligence. Now one thing about this map is that there are quite a lot of desks that are not the inmate desks. They're scattered all around the prison. So if you can't find something in any of the desks for the inmates, be sure to check around the rest of the prison to see what you can find in those desks. So we're just going to go to roll call here, and we're looking for the guard with the blue key. Now that should be guard number 12 or number 13. In this game, it's Officer Bonin or Officer Simmons are the two that I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna bring up my map and check around to see who is where, because we need to find them, and we need to find them exactly where I am. We need to fight them right here. If we fight them anywhere else, if you fight them outside, you're gonna get shot at. And if you fight them anywhere else, then you're not really going to get the chance to use the blue key. So I'm just kind of looking around. I still I can't find these guards. Sometimes the guards of the blue key don't show up right away. They might show up uh, later after, you know, during breakfast or something like that. So right here, I believe uh, Officer Bonin. Yeah, that one's Officer Bonin. So he's coming around. I'm just going to mark him so that way I can, I can get him to kind of follow me into through these purple doors because we don't want to fight him outside because we'll get shot at, like I said. So as soon as he comes through the doors, I'm going to whack him, and then I'm going to back up all the way into the solitary. Now, this is where you want to knock him out because knocking him out here, all the way in the back here, will give you the most time with the blue key because we're going to need to go into that door directly above us, and then there's one on the second floor that we'll also need to get into. So we're going to take the blue key. We're going to go into these desks. Now, these desks are really good, guys. If you ever need a shovel, a crowbar, a hammer, anything like that, you can find them in these desks. They're pretty random. Uh, the one time on the actually my original playthrough that you guys saw the first time I did get two shovels in one of those desks when I was messing around after I escaped the original time and uh, Yeah, so you can actually get two shovels if you get two shovels You don't need to craft anything so I just check both of those just to see if I could find another shovel as soon as I get out of the room I'm gonna ditch the key so in this game. There's a, a, a thing where if you Take a key from a guard and then ditch it somewhere and they find it they won't come after you. I'm hiding in the locker just in case anything comes near me. It won't beat me up because I do have a lot of heat on me. And I'm just going to hang out in here for just a little bit until my heat goes down to below 70. Just that way it's safe to walk around in front of the guards and outside. Because if you have a heat above, I think, 85, you will get shot at. Right there, I just went to, I just went to the job just to make sure that I don't get any stars on me. So I'm making my way back to my desk. Just that way I could stash these items so I don't lose them in case something happens. I'm just going to stick them in my little secret hidey hole. Uh, I probably should have kept the soda with me because it's not contraband, but we'll, we'll be coming back to it later. So now all we got to do is find the duct tape. And then after we get the duct tape, we're going to build 60 intelligence. And that's kind of the, the longest part of this escape. Like I said, if you can manage to find two shovels in one desk or... A shovel in each of those desks if you're lucky enough you don't need to craft anything you can do the escape right away so there is a faster way to do this it just requires a lot of luck uh, doing about I want to say 10 runs the shovel a single shovel appeared in either of those desks about 60% of the time so most of the time you're not gonna be finding two shovels if you find two shovels then you should probably go about and buy a lottery ticket because you are you are one lucky son of a gun, you know? So this is what I was saying before. There's a lot of desks in the area that you can check that are not part of the normal, like, uh, you know, inmate desks. There's two here. There's one in the room to my right up here. 
And then there's another one, uh, I believe, all the way down. But I think we're going to find the duct tape in one of these desks here. Yeah, there's the duct tape. So now that we got the duct tape, we're going to make our way over to the library to build our intelligence. Right here, I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to go back to my desk and stash the duct tape for safety reasons to you know play it safe in case something came after me but i do have very low heat and i have no stars so i'm just going to make my way up to the library and start reading now you do have to build 60 intelligence which for the most part is pretty easy which is why i took the soda there we're going to need the soda so we could refresh our stamina because you can only build between 12 and 15 intelligence at a time uh, kind of depends on how well you do this part where if you if you screw up a little bit you're going to build a little bit less but i think the most i've ever gotten in one sitting was 15. and just like the other escapes this is kind of one of the boring parts sitting here reading but like i said if you could find two shovels in those desks you can go right to the end where i'm going to show you where to go there's a very specific spot you have to dig at so pay very close attention when this comes up Right here, we're gonna we're gonna use that soda to refresh our stamina a little bit. Now, if I had the other soda, if I had gone back to my desk and got the other soda and stashed the duct tape, I probably wouldn't be would have been able to do this a little bit faster, just because I wouldn't have had to go all the way back at this point and and do all that. But that's that's the price you pay for playing things a little bit kind of loose and fast. Sometimes you just gotta do what what you feel is, is right you got you gotta go with your instincts you know guys so we're gonna take all these items we don't need the spurs anymore i'm gonna rest a little bit just to build my stamina all the way back up because the soda won't be enough to build my stamina to get another 13 intelligence we're gonna need a 100 stamina to do this so now that i got my stamina up to about 96 97 it should refresh all the way to 100 by the time I get to the library. And we're going to build the rest of our intelligence here. This is a pretty straightforward escape. Reading. I, I wonder what they're reading. Like, what do they read that makes them smarter? Is it like a physics book? Am I reading like engineering books? Am I reading like literature or something? I don't know. I don't know what they're reading. I, I'm kind of curious what they would be reading to like make them smarter. I mean, reading does make you smarter, but I feel like making a shovel out of duct tape and a piece of metal would still kind of require more engineering skills. You know, I'd have to go to school or something to learn that sort of stuff. But that's how the game is. That's one of the gameplay features. So we're going to build our way to 60 intelligence. And then we're going to use the soda to refresh our stamina because we're going to start digging in a second. So now that we got all the items, we're going to craft the sturdy shovel and that's why we needed the light shovel so that we could cut our way around and do all that stuff i'm going to use the soda to refresh my stamina and then i'm going to come into the medic room and sleep a little bit just to build my stamina and i only really did this because roll call was coming up so i figured i'll do that get to roll call and then we'll come over and we'll start digging so as soon as we hit roll call here, you guys are going to want to go exactly to where I go. Now, right where I place this X, I'm going to place the first X in the wrong spot, but the second X I'm going to place in the right spot. That X right there is where you want to dig, and you want to dig from the top. Notice how the camera does not see me. And by doing this during roll call, most of the guards are occupied with roll call. So as long as you're doing this when you know the guards are not around, they usually don't come all the way down that hallway, but sometimes they can. So you can see why I told you guys to dig exactly right there. You dig there, and then you dig here, and that's it. You just got to dig two, two spots. Now, the light shovel cannot dig two spots, and you will also run out of energy, but if you had the two shovels, obviously you can do it, and a couple sodas. So right there, we're just going to escape. That's all you got to do is get into those mine shafts and dig your way out and come out in that little area there. And then I'm being chased, and now I'm chasing... And then I don't I don't get this this the scene here. It's like how did how did I get the horse? How did he get the horse? And then how did I get the horse again? Kind of doesn't make any sense. I don't I don't really know. But that is a day one perimeter breakout on Rattlesnake Spring, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Medic, why why would the medic come all the way out? 
Anyway, guys, that's been a one-day escape. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave the video a like, comment, share, all that good stuff. If you enjoy my content and you want to see more of me play, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.